All right. Howdy. Welcome back. It's all of the folk. Day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind. Is that a, is that a, what's the name of that? Schoolboy Q? I don't know. What the f- Ugh, Everything, everything is scratchy right now. What can you be using my laptop? At, at, at. At night when you're dreaming. At night when you're sleeping. That was like an old track I did. Which might exist somewhere in Dropbox. In the Dropbox world. So I'm working, uh, whoa, on code, which you guys can't really see. Let's make this bigger. Boop, 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 boop. I get to fix the color of this thing. Um, but I'm working on a tournament ladder. Whoa. And it does some stuff. Like, you can edit it and add people, like, Tomaki underscore. And I need to change images, and, you know, you add, oh, crap. I disabled this button for, for logic reasons. All right. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. It's actually what I was working on last night and into the morning. I'm okay, Tamaki. I just, let me fix my colors here. The other thing is keying out the uh, chartreuse of the chartreuse. Yeah, you, you see it, James. I see it. I'm going to fix that. It was bugging the heck out of me yesterday. Was it yesterday? I need to, like, catch regular hours. Somebody's not sleeping right. Let's see. If I had to guess. The live man isn't on in this channel. But something is going on. Color. Rock amp. Yeah, it is you. We don't need to color correct the computer. Input. That's stupid. Boom! There we go. Don't color correct by default, guys. It's not good for your viewers. All right. Better? Closer? Warmer? Yeah. So I'm not sleeping right either. Um, I've been going to sleep at like 8 or 9 in the morning. And <laughs> waking up at like 2, 3, 4 in the afternoon. Not a great feeling. But I think I might just jump on to new components. Uh, maybe something that builds itself. So this is like this idea I have for our tournament and kind of one of the reasons that we've been um, postponing it. It's kind of to my request. Is I want to make... Uh, hold on a sec. I want to make this thing like super easy. One thing that kind of bugs me about running the tournament is Ravi has to go in and change the... Uh, he has to go in and change the... <laughs> Hey, NW Jules, long time, Tasha T, no one's sleeping right. Dogen3, how's it going? Yeah, <clears throat> but one of the reasons why I've been, why I, it's my fault, I, I want to say that the, the tournament has been pushed back. If you're, by the way, if you're a patron, or I think you can even buy tickets, um, we do have like a Rocket League tournament coming up next week, which I should be practicing today. I might do that at the end of the stream if I don't make any reasonable progress. Um, or I get frustrated or something stupid happens. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still getting, I'm still getting back in the groove. I want to, I want to, you know, sit at least long enough to say I fixed a thing. Um, but yeah, one of the things about <clears throat> the tournament that I do not like, hey Demon Stray, welcome to the show, one of us, absolutely, is, um, is is like maintaining a ladder, right? And so, screw that, basically, is what I'm trying to say. There's no reason, this is 2017, there's no reason to maintain a ladder. Let's go into this button component. I want to make sure that, like, a ladder player, cycle player image. I've never played Rocket League. You're going to love it. You do want to compete. Absolutely. Um... Get on Discord, ask Mint Potion what's going on. Um, I think I even have Discord open, because I'm that guy. Um, I think there's, there might be tickets on sale, even. Uh, if you're a patron, though, you know all about the situation. It's kind of steep, but the prizes are pretty good, I gotta say. I don't know, we sent some cash out for folks last month. We played um, Overwatch. 
Um, and we want to do it monthly, but I really think we need to fix the format of that show. Um, find the best way to stream it. And to me, part of that is making better technology. So I have like a ladder builder kind of thing going. Um, I guess I'll just kind of start from where where it's busted. Because I kind of switched out my logic for like making a new player name, like uh, Nintendo dude. Um, I need to be able to change images. For some reason, this isn't responding. So let's go where my choose image function should be working, which will be here. I mean, this is kind of what's going on. Let's register player interactable. Um, if icon is set, cool. And that'll check every time we adjust the player submission. Um, cool. But it'll be great to see who, uh, who won last time. Hubris is real, James. <laughs> James Rogers is pretty darn good at Rocket League, actually. We've played a few times. I used to play it quite a bit. Um, because I hadn't really played the game until, like, last year. And so we kind of got suckered into it. Ravi and I played, like, a ton of the of the basketball game because we're cool like that. Um, but, yeah, here's my kind of broken code. I want to print what this is just so I can make sure it's working. Like, give me that number. Give me that number, girl. Last time I played was a week ago. Had some really good matches. Excellent. So, yeah, this thing works. And it'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think I went minus 1 if icon in text is 0. Uh, I have a bunch of images that are in there. So I could be getting an out of range exception. But temp player icon. I don't know if it's an image. There's something wrong here. What are you? There's Visual Studio for Mac OS, though. Check that out. It's a lot of fun if you're using Mac. I also updated my operating system. Finally. So far, I haven't had any issues with it. I don't know why I feared it so much. I just did. If it was Smash, then I would also really like it. I think Smash Tamaki is, like, unfair. Mario Kart we could probably pull off. Um, let's see. So this is a sprite. The temp player icon in this structure over here. Do temp preview icon. I don't even know that I need that. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. I can't assign that. Temp player icon and default player icon are both the same data type. Um, I just need them to be grouped differently. Beck used to let me smash. I like blue. Uh, I need more blue. I'm gonna borrow this. I really like that that verb. That meme is pretty pretty hilarious. Um. Wow, this also doesn't seem to scale up properly. That's a new thing. Maybe I did that. Pardon me while I. Kind of look at my look at my canvas. I think about think about my life. No, everything is scaled correctly. It just appears strange on the screen. Maybe it's the aspect ratio. Who knows? Blue and yellow. I have blue. <laughs> uh, pretty good. So yeah, hang out. Actually, you know what? In the spirit of the stream, I think I'm gonna need some tunes. Um, what's good? What's good? As the meme says, yes, Ben is not a hoe. Normally, or maybe I am a hoe. What does that mean for the world? Wow. Plug zone, game dev. Does game dev have music in it? Oh, cool. I've seen that. Uh, let's... Can't get too distracted. What's good? Uh... How about we go to, like... 
I don't know, Team Mad SoundCloud or something like that. <laughs> uh, and just kind of stream off of it. Stream off of somebody's here. The House Rules theme. Where is that? That's the kind of thing that should be on SoundCloud, right? Team Mad 40 Blue. We're just going to listen to everything that Team Mad 40 Blue has made. Sorry, Dylan. We're just going to play it. I can't even hear it either. Like, I need to turn up the volume. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you had a track up. Pulaka Buns. Is that the track? SoundCloud DJing real quick. Sweet. Go forward, go backward. Oh yeah. The luck is pretty great actually. I'm gonna follow him with my other SoundCloud account. House rules theme. Have you heard his new tracks? Like Dream Tree. What is all this? Notifications. I always listen to the Nintendo track. I keep like trying to click um I keep trying to click other things. <laughs> I keep trying to click like the screen that I have chat in, but it's not even connected. All right, we're gonna rock with Nintendo. I just need something, need something in that BG. Whilst I look up into the future, I'm trying to focus down a problem. Is the second one the house rules theme? Probably is. Is it? Hold on. This is not it either. Where did I remember when this track came around? It's a good goal to have more tracks and followers. I'm not sure. He might have. He might have taken it off the SoundCloud. Can't find it. I listen to the waveformer music. There are a bunch of clips by our dude here in chat. Kind of game themey. Dugging, where's your SoundCloud at, dude? Tell me about your scooter. Anyway. 300. That's pretty good. I like round numbers for making you lie. I don't have anything on SoundCloud. Actually, I didn't know that you were much of like a... Like, I don't, I, you know, I don't remember you being in the musician f sphere anyway. I thought you were more into the code things. The code things. Um, but maybe that's just my assumption. Why do I have notifications? Alright, we'll follow this dude. Because I recognize your username. Okay, okay. Alright, what the heck is going on? 
the register player is a button that gets disabled because of this thing. Um, but I'm not setting an icon because I'm checking to see if the icon matches the default player icon, which it does because I've assigned them so over here. Kind of rewind my tired mind here. The default player icon is this thing. I really should take dice icon out of the list. Um, or replace it with something like missing or something like that. So I'll do that. Oh, where is that window? The one thing I kind of can't stand. Let's, let's do this. Change it. Uh, good, good job. Sweet. Now, whatever this element is, the player icon preview, which is also a sprite, I really think it needs to be adjustable. Um, so sprite, it's sprite dot sprite the exact thing. I imagine that's a little bit lame, but the player icon is a sprite type. But did I have this texture? No. How do I access this thing? Yeah, I get it. You're a sprite. Like, can I set it to nothing? Like, just disappear for a second. That way, I at least know it's working. DM it to me later. I have a song that's really, really good remix of Day and Night. Uh, yeah, I figured I recognize that song. So this isn't actually doing what I want it to do. Printing out this thing, it's doing this thing, which is cycling icon index. But then it actually doesn't do anything. And that's annoying, so. Either I'm pointing at the wrong object, or something else is happening. Let's have a look at that container. Um, which is not you. It's like the super, the super empty that has all your script. Uh, it's really hood. DM, DM it to me. Tamaki, we have a good DM chain. Mostly swag ideas. Actually, where's Discord? Let's have a look at that. We got, there's messages on the Nest Dude Discord. I think he was streaming a minute ago. He's probably streaming right now, if I had to guess. What the heck is this? Whoa, it's some sort of weird drawing game. Oh, okay, okay. I've only known Tamaki to make one song, and that is the... has the correct pronunciation of his name. to this playlist. Mar Mario and Sonak go Olympic peaking. That was pretty cool. Oh, this chair looks so comfortable, but it's kind of not. Sweet. Okay, okay, okay. That's right, Token 3 does have does have the lead into a lot of 3DS tools and songs. You should post videos up, I believe. Been a minute. I'm I'm sure it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've been um <laughs> Okay. As long as the stream isn't down, which I'm not sure if it is or isn't. Let's have a bunch of data in front of me. Just got a bunch of data. Hey, new follower. NW Jules. Thank you. For hanging out. I don't know if you're still here, but... That's nice of you. So yeah, edit player doesn't do much. Just goes through this function. What the crap? I have a text message from Sophie. Do 
couple more Korg remixes. Do it. Just don't do it on Twitch. Or if you do do it on Twitch, don't get distracted by the fact that you're on Twitch. Um, it takes a while for me to zone out because of all of this lovely attention. Hey, Thomas, you welcome back. Because I want to engage with chat. Part of it is being interactive. And it's like, what are you gonna... What are you guys gonna change? What the heck reference script on this behavior is missing? Do it again. Are you really broken? Are you just not attached to it? The background music is warbling like it did during ADD drumming. Warbling? Like it's phasing out, or what's going on? I don't know. I have to... Can't precisely get up and fix that, because I'm not sure what's going on. And... I don't know, maybe I should, right? Warbling. I don't even have direct control over audio, because of the nature of the source. I could turn it down. Maybe it's a bandwidth issue thing? Our internet dude did come by and try and fix some stuff. I recorded 3DS footage with my phone. If you if you want to do that, it doesn't actually look super great. Okay, as long as it's not hurting anybody, we should be alright. Name this player, which already has an image, but I can't really... I want to make sure I can edit that. This isn't really working. Pesty. But this is what's bugging me, really more than anything. Um... Octopus is getting crazy. Be the squid. Too many games. I was just not getting index zero. Not like it was actually setting up the thing. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero. Thank you. But where is this guy? Like, where are you? What's your problem? I see you. All of these objects are textures, or all of these... It's a list of sprite? Am I... Yeah, player icons. When I think I've done something correct, it's usually that I'm missing something stupid. A temp player icon these player icons. Right. Oh. Or nothing, but even so. Even even though I commented that out. Does it ever feel like you're just on repeat? I'm getting out of range. I don't know. 
Negative one is not a number. Sure, but it doesn't even do its dang job. Unless, it, let's look at this object. So this does actually change the information here, but that means that this isn't tied to that. So maybe I was right to have a hook for the preview? Alright, go so add it back. Me neither. Yeah. Oh crap, I'm sorry, I didn't even realize that that was still going. I kind of started to zone out. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I got one question, man. Tell me who's next. I think the relaxing icons of this uh, man, he will be the one. I don't even know where he is. Probably out there on the internet. Like Couchbot. I got a message from Tamaki. The strange, the strangely in. What is this? Oh, it's just a, a gent crap remix of Kid Cudi. Oh, all right, all right. I'm sorry. We'll get to, we'll get to chilling in a second. Let's get this. Let's get this copyright ID. The lonely loner, probably has a big drop. Cause day and night, day and night. The lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. The lonely loner seems to free his mind. That's what's playing. Kind of reminds me of Frey 2017's music. Beats, man. I don't know if I wanna. I don't know if I wanna blast somebody's Spotify song. I will gladly rebroadcast these guys. Green, 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 green. <laughs> There's something to it. Sorry to disappoint. I will. Um, I will. Re I will review it. You're right, it is a good remix. I haven't heard that song, like I remember when that single came around. That's a little while. while ago. Why is this image not being set? Right, let's say I want you, right, not you, ugh, you, to be a player icon preview. I have player icon preview, image, object of the same name. It's right there. The first thing that you might notice is I can't assign that thing. I wonder why. You are all children of the same strange object. Maybe I have to upgrade you to some sort of super individual. Also my like picker object. This is a kind of crummy thing that happens with I would say multiple displays and unity in general. It's my object picker will probably like show up on the screen that it was originally instantiated on. Which is cute, but useless. Like one of these displays. Uh, there we go. It's on like this other monitor. Here, buddy. Select right. Oh god, where'd my mouse go? You, let's save you. Yeah, object picker. Yeah, welcome back. So I can't take a sprite from the scene. Maybe I'll just pick a game object instead and then refer to that sprite with the script. That's just me. I like music you can feel when you listen to it. It puts you somewhere that you build as you listen to the song. Yeah, I kind of jumped through it. Um, 
No, no. And if this was like a, you know, if this was like a radio show, I would be showing it on the radio. be the only person on the schedule today. But you know that you can stream remotely? What? It's okay, we managed to figure all these things out. So instead of getting player icon preview, let's get a game object with that name. That makes the most sense to me. Player template. Preview icon. Let's have it also in the same. The... I don't have the sprite from you. I do have a random image set order. That is not correct. Good job. Is this a team ad song? Yes. You, you are correct. I'm actually just streaming off of Team Ads SoundCloud right now. Um, where did my mouse go? How do I get between these two screens? Is it over here? Is it over there? Is it all the way to the right? All the way to the left? Yeah, but you are listening to the soothing tunes of uh, Team Ad 40 Blue. Uh... I think it's it's pretty good work music, I gotta say. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. But yeah, I'm just picking picking the small things to be annoyed with and then going from there. So the peak preview icon is now this guy and a game object I can definitely manipulate. Image icon player preview. So I can get the sprite component from that guy. And set it here. Right? Uh, so, tent player icon. No, no, no. You have a weird name now. It's this guy. Ah. Uh, and I want to get that generic component from you, my buddy. Are there any members of Sprite that I can change, like image or texture? I can get the texture reference, but I don't want that associated Sprite. I don't know, because this is going to return a Sprite as well, right? just me. I'm totally also in potion. This has happened a lot. Don't worry. Now I'm like trying to sneak over here and, and sometimes I chat with myself. I'll be both Angry Crow and in potion. Did you know that um, right facing tentacle is the most popular emoticon in the chat today? I don't even know how to type right facing tentacle. I'm gonna have to copy and paste it or something. Tentacle? Octopus? I have no idea. What am I doing? What's going on, Robot Jake? <laughs> Are you asking me to get up? <laughs> okay. I just want your Sprite, baby. 
Because I can't, I can't assign stuff to this frag component. I can... That, that's just getting that object out of there. That's not... That's not working for me. Uh, even though that is illegal... Without the force. Squid 3, no space. Squid 4. Yo, Jimbo. We're talking about Squid 3 and Squid 4. Which is pretty cool. What are you? The sprite to render. Do I have to grab the... Let's look at the manual. You can't even see it. This is crazy. Represents a sprite. It does have a sprite renderer. Probably get the sprite out of that. Yay, now it's working. Except all of these images have different like render sizes, which is kind of annoying. But that's totally working. That's exciting. Um, cool. And then what I would do probably at the end is to check the player submission again. Um, because that'll allow me to, like, pick a name, uh, Steve, and then change this icon. And it should actually allow that to work here, check player submission. Uh, a set an icon is still showing up. The f That's not correct. Yeah. It reminds me of space. I have space fleas. It's a different problem. Why didn't I think of that? Sprite render is the name of the component. I'm so kind of out there. Say happy birthday to Osmotic. He's doing this thing. Who are you people? I just want I just want my friends to, to know that I think they're cool and that's why we're friends. <laughs> yeah. I'll check back on that in a second. I'm so excited. It's a good life. Chris Anderson, he'll be around. I'm checking out our video emails. I need to unsubscribe from safe here because I was going to use it for a thing. You ever find out just how many weird things you were signed up for? It's amazing. feel like <laughs> I don't know something amazing alright so that's cool we fixed that thing so you're gonna notice um, I have this asset that isn't like if I switch over to this other scene you can see that the texture is there um, but the import settings of that image make it Tiny. Right, and each one, if I go side by side here. Uh, what the crap? What is this? There we go, okay. So, each image, what are you doing, man? Why isn't that scaling? Let's, let's make a quick adjustment here. Screen space, camera, plane descent, sorting layer. I should use world space. Why isn't it giving me an option for... There we go. Scale factor... Scale with screen size. There we go. 
And then my reference resolution should be 1920 by 1080. Or something smaller. I mean, it's the same 16 by 9, right? Like, it's the same problem. 16, what? 1280? 720? Whoa. Match with. I really want it to expand. But that's not the only problem. So the issue that I'm trying to point out here is that when I'm cycling through images, the imported pixels per unit is not the same across the board, right? <laughs> um, if we look at the actual like import settings for each object, uh, so each icon, a thousand pixels per unit, really? Ten pixels per unit, really? A hundred pixels per unit? Five pixels per unit? Like, this this field over here, right? Who thought of that? Uh, I'm not going to apply those settings. Um, even the Mint Potion logo, like, is at some strange scale. The mesh type, it should be tight. It should be... And it's kind of a tricky thing. It's like, I want, I want some of these images to be really sharp. Give them a packing tag, single sprite mode. The point of this exercise is to make our images that we get from like wherever. Like look at how jagged and kind of compressed that looks, right? The source for this image is actually ridiculous. Um, if it's like, oh, it's going to break the game. Uh, 10 pixels for you. Just like get, get that next order of magnitude. Alright, I'm going to apply that. Do, 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 do. Like, it looks close to okay, but it still looks distorted. It still looks compressed. And... That's not bad. But there are a lot of options for how we process our alpha. Like, what does that do? I don't know. And on some scale, it looks alright. Like, that kind of middle zone. Looks good. I don't know, maybe we fixed it. But this is like a big thing when you're doing UI, is to not... Yeah, see, that doesn't look great to me. Like, compared to these, this, this aliasing, and those edges there, to like this guy, like, what the crap, dude? And is that a source issue, or what? Like, that aliasing looks crap. T-Mad always makes good stuff. T-Mad's got the good stuff. Isn't he the dude that just lives in the synthesizer mansion and synthesizes mansions? I don't know. On scale, that doesn't look terrible. Uh, let's see. Player 1, 16 by 9. But yeah, doing... I don't know. I've done a lot of UI stuff in Unity lately. So, getting it very on. Did we really get through all of Team Ad SoundCloud? I refuse. I refuse that notion. I do not believe that we've listened to everything that that dude has, has uploaded. There we go. That's right. We're not done yet. We are almost done listening to his mixtape called Recollections. I'm glad y'all are into it. I'm into it. It helps me relax. It makes me want to fight slightly less. Those those operations are not what's necessarily strange. Um, one thing that I should probably do is just unify the import settings for all of these images because that is what is causing us all this pain. Um, for example, like the edit icon looks great in its current context. A thousand pixels per unit, dog, really? Maybe that's the way to go. I really like this, the sharpness of like all of this stuff, right? A thousand, a thousand, ten, which is this guy over here, and I should be able to scale it manually, like I shouldn't have to do that through an import setting. A thousand pixels per unit, that's pretty high density. Let's do it. A 
fly, everyone's gonna get resized, potentially. It probably isn't that big a deal. 100 pixels per unit is okay to do, but it seems kind of blurry, if you ask me. Missing icon, 5 pixels per unit? Nah. I won't allow it. Now you are either too big or too small to be seen. This music is perfect for ranting monologues. That seek relevance. We're gonna change the anchor of this object and the stretching mode so that it can actually uh, not be stretched. You might be wondering, why can't I see this icon? I completely agree. The image is swapping out, which is good. And it seems like when they're placed into another context, like this object, this child of a child of a child thing that I have in here, something is maintaining their scale. It this oh, it's an image script. That's different. Uh, that's not. A but maybe that's wrong. If you're, if you're a button, then you're gonna have an image. Maybe I can work with that. Maybe I should convert all of you to images. Like, right? I get rid of the sprite renderer and then change the texture. Be missing. That looks great, right? Was there a reason that I had gone from image to sprite? I can't really remember. So let's make a couple adjustments to our script. Get the image component and change that out. Also, I need to change my reference to a list of images. Break a whole bunch of stuff. I'm cool with that. Doesn't compile. Yeah. Because I can't assign the image. What's the name of this property? Source image. Yeah, 
gotta look this up. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, where are you? Right in the UI system. It is still a sprite. That's bullshit. All right. And now I'm looking at a list of non sprites. So I could just change that back. Uh, hopefully it didn't compile. As the sprite is the texture data. Unless you're using a raw image, that should work. Cool. Uh, sweet. So let's go look at this guy. Which hasn't changed, which is sweet. And this will cycle. Yeah! Looks like there are a couple of wonky textures in there. That looks pretty good. And uh, I can do that. Um, but this doesn't seem to work yet either. My registered player thing. So let's kind of go figure out what's going on. Uh, so is icon set is not being evaluated? No? Not the default, but the this guy. Where where are you? The preview icon is the correct name. Uh, and that isn't actually a game object. This is the game object that we're looking for. Comparing a sprite to a sprite. I think default player icon is a sprite. Yes, okay. Sweet. So that should clear up my other thing. Sweet. Now the player needs a name, like Steve. Uh, cool. And then I can register Steve. Now I need to send this texture in. Right now the default temporary thing for Steve is that, right? Also, the reverse has to be true, right? I need to be able to hit edit and Steve shows up in this category. I can change the image for Steve and then register, and you know, the same Steve, right? Um, you gotta have at least two people to tango, so we have to implement that rule. Um, and then we're going to do Vanwa Singh. Which is young. Um, we're gonna do one more thing, which is actually, you know, this whole, let's say this whole scene, right? Um, this whole screen environment will, like, go away. You know, oh, you're going away. And then, you know, our bracket will come up and our options will be replaced. Um, we're gonna do it in the 1080 environment. We're gonna make it all pretty. And I'll have to realign a bunch of stuff or kind of dynamically re. Like just kind of fix my anchors for my UI. Cause like some root part like this doesn't really need that kind of thing. Um, 
I'd rather give it like a. I'd rather get rid of the transform and give it like a cool, visible icon. But it's not in my way. I'm not angry with it yet. But it looks pretty. Um, I want to have a button like on a side of the interface. Like if I'm not you. If I am moving this entire screen worth of objects over. I want to have something like this that shows me the state, it shows me kind of what the machine thinks or what you think the machine thinks is doing, and then have maybe a checklist over here instead of over there. Uh, I can point. That's very confusing. Anyway, but have something that allows me to, you know, go to the next screen, like have like a flow of user experience, right? So like the header for this and all of that kind of stuff. This is all kind of kind of organized well. But I can move each object independently, right? And we can animate those things to make it really sweet and juicy, which I intend to do actually. I've gotta find those keys and make it all jiggly. Right, the contestant's entry title is a separate element that has all of its sub elements. Um if I'm running the game with a bunch of empty players, like it won't let me put in empties anymore. I think it's nice. Uh, nice. Um, I need to change this so that on value change it uh, reconfigures. So that's an actually a really an easy fix. If I go into the use object uh, here on value change on edit on end edit. So let's try putting in this end edit thing. I'm not sure how it's going to evaluate that. I imagine uh, it'll be quite similar. So I can take in the scenes script, right, and give it the ladder builder's ability to. Oh, is it you? What is this? I need to evaluate something. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Game object. No, man. No, man. I can see the function right here. It's inside of Ladder Builder. It's called. Oh, it's not public. <laughs> that sucks. Um, I guess I could just do this: public void, edit player. It's the same function. Kind of lousy, but edit player. It's not really doing anything right now, and this will definitely get into my, you know, get in my way later. But edit player will at least evaluate that I changed the name. Steve is the name. All right, and then we're good. We change the image. We can put Steve in. Um, let's make sure that that image carries over into our um, into our prototype, um, which is this guy, right? This 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 UI component container thing. Um, which also I change the look of. Um, so this guy do 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 has this dice icon child. And that's probably not the best use of that script. So I have a challenger tag. Player icon is dice icon. Which I think will reference itself. I know it's referencing an asset. So I need to change that, which I thought I did. But as you can tell here we go, when I add player get component challenger list hog player icon. Is this an image or a sprite component? What are you? A sprite. That's not useful. Did we really get through? I'm telling you, or maybe they're just really long pauses at the end of, at the end of, 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 Emad's track. Yeah, we just played through that collection. Um, cool. The collection of recollections. Good. I'm getting rambly. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. Thanks, you guys. This is Mint Potion. Uh, it's actually a lot of fun here. There's some tweets. Check my uptime. I really only want to be on for like an hour or two before I start to go crazy. I need to eat something. An hour and change. I don't know. But. 
We fixed the thing. I'm actually pretty proud of that. I don't know if you guys are around or kicking or cool or whatever, party people. I think I might need this opportunity to get my day started and grab a fruit snack or something. <laughs> people actually still make this. I don't know. But, um... That's kind of an update on what I'm doing in Unity stuff. I don't think anyone's, you know, really asked for a little help with that. I was kind of expecting a power blog thing, but I mean, this could just be that place where I kick back and listen to tunes. I just, it feels like now is a good time. Say peace and thank you.